We got an email from one of our listeners named Mary. She told us a little bit about her date and says she feels awful about it and thinks it's her fault that she's not getting a call back. Oh, wow. Oh, Is no. this like the first person with like some self-realization on the phone <laughs> with us? True. Like what's going on? I don't know exactly <laughs> what that means, but I'm guessing she accidentally ran him over and feels bad. <laughs> That's what you went to. Yeah. Mary, uh, why did you do it? Okay, I think there's a lot of other things that could have happened there. Are you using this time as your one call from the police station? Okay. Attempted murder. No, it's really not like that. Yeah, murder. that's what all guilty people say, yeah. huh? What's the real uh-huh. story, Mary? What happened? He is such a good guy. I'm feeling awful about it because I've been on so many dates before where it's like, it was their fault why we didn't have any more dates, but this one is all me. Oh, oh no. no, it's that obvious. Okay, wait, wait, back up. Where did you meet this guy? We met on Tinder. His name's Adam. Okay. And I have to say that when you're doing the swipes and things like that, I know your human nature reaction is to definitely swipe right onto all the hot guys. Yes, sure. I think that's what Tinder is for. <laughs> but Adam's not like super good looking. Oh. But that's okay. Is that what you told him? And that's why you know that he's not calling you back? Because that's, that's pretty rough, Mary. No, 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 no. I've just, I've swiped right on tons of hot guys before. And they're just really self-obsessed. They're jerks. It, I was I was done with it. So I'm like, I'm going to swipe on a not so good looking guy. Oh. Mm. Wow. That actually makes okay. sense. I yeah. feel the same about hot girls. Yeah. I'm always like, ah, she's not going to want anything to do with me. Yeah. That's a good strategy. But so, the uggos, like, there's no oh, risk there. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They're, they're always down. You guys, she's not saying he's ugly he's just not the best like maybe he has stronger attributes other than his looks it's kind of like ed sheeran he's not awful but not great okay well but there are a lot of men out there that once you actually get to know their personality they're 80 times more attractive true that's so what was it like what'd you guys do we did a dancing lesson. Yeah, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, hot guy would never be down yeah. for something like that. <laughs> exactly. That's kind of fun. Exactly. So what kind of dancing lesson did you guys do? We did a little swing dancing, like a little, um, who is that, Brian Setzer or something, or like, oh. you know, you know, swing dancing. Yeah, welcome N- back to 1986. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we're not up to date on our famous <laughs> swing dancers here. So, But how did the swing dance class go? Was it fun? It was a lot of fun. Like, they teach you some basic moves because neither of us had done it before. And then you get to switch a bunch of partners. Oh, man. That was the oh, fun wow. part of it. Okay. She, you got to take a break from boring old looking Adam and got to look at some really hot guys. It's like swiping right in real life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, it was great because everybody's got, like, different levels. And I even danced with this cute 80-year-old guy. Aww. Aww. It was adorable, guys. Okay, so that's great. <laughs> but what about poor Adam? Yeah. What, Remember, when, you're dating Adam here. <laughs> when did you screw it all up that's what i want to know okay i'll get to that but here's the one thing and this is why i really like them mm-hmm. it's because after i danced with that 80 year old guy i was kind of like jabbing at him a little bit okay. and so he came back at me which i loved he was like oh i'm gonna take that old guy's knees out with you know his locker <laughs> 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 that's funny. Yeah. oh yeah violence against the elderly yeah. that's that's hilarious <laughs> i think it's cute too mm-hmm. <laughs> It was going so well. We're like, let's do drinks. We just, you know, sweated a little bit. So we went and grabbed some drinks. Uh And then I ended up at his place. Okay, so all of this is great so far. So wait, that you ended up at the elderly man's place or you ended up at Adam's place? Follow along. I'm just trying to make sure we're getting it straight. Adam's place. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. And was that your idea or his idea? (laughs) Um, I mean, we both had a couple drinks, so I would say it was both of our ideas. Like, it just felt right, you know? And what happened when you walked in those doors? Your clothes come off and... Brooke! I'm Jesus. just saying. That's what Brooke's first go-to move is. <laughs> After some hot swing mm-hmm. dancing. That's a little uh, invasive, but we had a good time. Let's oh, just say that. Oh, nice! So they did. So, okay. yes! See? I'm right! All right. Okay, all right. So, I'm still not hearing what's the bad part of yeah. this date, then. The bad part was the next morning when I was leaving. Oh, oh you no. stayed the night. I did. Okay, walk us through it. So when I was getting up in the morning, I was trying to be like really, really quiet. (laughs) And I noticed that, and I forgot about this part, but I put a bunch of self tanner on the night before. And so I noticed that there was a bunch of orangey streaks all over his sheets. Oh, Oh, no. no. (laughs) 
can be perceived as something else. Ew. Gross. I'm just saying, that's the first thing I would think. Like, oh. what the heck? <laughs> of course. Every, first thing that Jose thinks is someone messed his bed. Anytime <laughs> I've had streaks in my bed, it's not been self-tanner. Okay. okay. okay <laughs> let's move forward quickly. <laughs> so, so you left streaks of self-tanner in his bed. Oh. Yes. And then I was like, shoot, I got to do something about this. Yeah. So then I went to the bathroom, put some hot water on a washcloth. Then came back to the bed, like, he was trying to, like, wipe it. Well, then all of a sudden he starts waking up. I was like, shoo, I knew that was going to happen. And then I was like, okay, well, you know, I just had a little, uh, and then, uh, all right, I got to go. Wait, Awkward. did you just make it sound like you wet the bed? Like, because the bed's wet at this point. Oh. I had a little, uh. I just kind of, like, I didn't really explain it. I was just like, oh, you know, there's a little something. And I didn't really explain it, though. I just said, oh, I got a little something on See? your bed. Uh, now I don't look so dumb. Yeah, you, you should have explained it. <laughs> what? And then you just left? Did he even have a chance to say anything? No, because he was, like, still waking up and everything. So oh. then I was like, okay, I'll just text you later. Oh, so no. then I texted him, but he still hasn't responded. Yeah. Oh, that's totally it. That after morning glow is not there when you're waking up in a <laughs> wet brown bed. <laughs> She sweat her glow off. So how long has it been since you last spoke to him? It's been like two days. Okay. That's and so true. are you using this to get him on the phone so you can explain what happened? No, no, no. I'm just looking for you guys to help me because I just want him to give me a second chance because, look, when we danced, we clicked. Our conversations, we clicked. Like, yeah. everything else clicked. <laughs> but you haven't texted him about the self-tanner, though. No. You're just going to pretend like it never happened and just move on. Well, she's playing it cool for now, guys. He, right. That may not be the problem. I think we've passed that point. Okay. Like, that's the problem. <laughs> we may need to address it at a certain point, yeah. but we're going to call Adam for you, Mary, and we'll play a song and come back and get your second date right after this, okay? Great. Hold just tuning in for today's second date, we're on the phone with Mary. She went out with a guy named Average Adam. Mm. She told us he's not very good looking, but she kind of likes that about him. And they went dancing together before she took a page out of Brooke's dating playbook and slept with him night what? one. I mean, I want to argue, but... Just classic, bro. Hey, you know what? I know what I like, okay? <laughs> now Mary's worried that he's not calling her back because in the morning, she realized that some of her self-tanner rubbed off and left a stain on Oof. his sheets. Uh. She tried to clean it, but he started waking up, so she just decided to leave. No explanation. Now, Mary, <laughs> we're going to call Adam, and how do you want us to approach this? So I've been thinking about it, and I say don't bring up the self-tanner right away because oh. maybe there's something else, like... I've listened to you guys a bajillion times, and it could be something totally different. Maybe he just didn't think I was that cute, or... I like that, Mary. You won't be offended if the guy that you don't think is attractive doesn't find you attractive either. <laughs> That's good. That's good. You know, some people just are into different things, so mm -hmm. maybe he's just not into that, but like... I think okay. I'm pretty cute. That's a smart so move. don't bring up the wet brown bed until later. <laughs> right. If it comes to that. All okay. right, Mary. Okay. Let's call Adam right now and get some answers for you. You ready? Yes, thank you. All right, here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Adam, please? Yeah, who's this? Hey, it's your morning wake-up call, Adam. Good morning. <laughs> I'm on the do not spam list. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. This isn't a spam call, Adam. Are you 100% satisfied with your current oh health care provider? No, Jeffrey, <laughs> shut up. It's not a spam call, Adam. What's going on? This is young Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. Wow. Radio? Yes. yes. <laughs> it's it's an old-fashioned device, and you listen to music on it. Sometimes people talk out of it. You mean like a podcast? <laughs> Close. Yeah, yeah the the, yes. the predecessor to podcasts. But yeah, let's just call it a podcast, okay? What do you want? Well, actually, we're calling on behalf of one of our listeners who's been trying to get a hold of you. Her name is Mary. Oh. Oh, you like Mary. I don't think that that was the O that I got. I got. I heard O, oh, yeah. No. no, I heard O, oh, oh. no. Well, so, yeah, you went on a date recently with Mary, Adam, and she says that she had a really great time with you, and now you're not talking to her anymore, and she wants to know the reason why. She told you about our date, huh? She yes. gave us a little rundown of it. It sounded really fun. I mean, she said you guys went dancing, and I thought that was really cool of you to be up for, you know, dancing on a first date. You met on Tinder. One thing late to the next. Sounds like everything went great. It was until it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> and at what point wasn't it? I mean, she really doesn't know. I, I find that hard to believe. Hmm. 
Is there Did, something about Mary? Oh my God, Jeffrey. You couldn't help it. Did you do oh that on purpose? God. I'm sorry. Is you there did. something about Mary that bothered you? <laughs> You've always wanted to say that. I don't know what you guys are laughing about. I, I don't get it. It's, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. worry. The, it's not you. The whole point is Mary wants to know the reason why you're not calling her back. She says that she had a really, really good time with you, and the fact that you're not calling her, it's kind of upsetting, and she just wants some answers as to why. I mean, I think she knows why I'm not calling her back. I don't want to embarrass her, okay? I don't think she'll be embarrassed. She knows, she listens to these, that there could be some, like, really terrible information she finds out about herself. Like, she's very aware of the consequences here. I don't know why she's trying to get a hold of me. Like, if I were her, I would have never told anyone what happened. What? What was it? Yeah, what happened? She told you all about the date? Yeah. And she told you about the next morning. <laughs> yeah, maybe yeah. you can tell us what your side of the story is. I mean, it's, it's not sides, it's facts. She went in my bed, and like, what? number one and number two. Oh, Emma. Oh. <laughs> That's, no. Are you sure? Is that really what you think happened? I'm positive. Oh. I, I can't believe she would tell a radio station what she did. <laughs> Adam, this is Mary. Hey, Mary. Yes, that's a little bit early, but Adam, Mary's been on the line listening. We forgot to tell you that, and she heard everything you said. I don't understand. She's on... she, she's... Mary's on the other line, Adam, and yeah. she's listening. She knows what you just said about her doing a duty in your bed. Number one in your two. bed. It wasn't that. There's a good explanation. Adam, yeah. I really do have a really good explanation. Like, I can't believe you're on the whole. If if I were you, why would you highlight that you did this? Like, well, what's <laughs> wrong with you? Oh my god, just wait! I was wearing self tanner, and I I had a lot on from the night before, and so then it got all over your bed. So I was trying to quietly wipe it off. That's what it was. See? Listen, I. I was in the bed. It wasn't just that. Like, there's a specific smell, and what? it's it wasn't Tanner smell. It, it was number two smell. Oh, my God. No Adam, way. you don't believe her? No, I saw the evidence and the smell. I know what number two smells like. <laughs> Come on. Wait a minute. So who's lying here? Mary. Okay. There might have been, like, a little bit. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, Wait, on. what did you just say? <laughs> Only because I had drank a lot the night before. Oh, and you know what no. happens, like, whenever you drink Wait. a lot? <laughs> what? Hold on. You told I us know. it was just self-tanner. No. Well, it was mainly self-tanner. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, no. I feel so dirty. <laughs> Why are you doing this, Mary? Mary. Adam is right. Why aren't you ashamed? Like, what is your problem? Why are you calling us? No. If that's what happened. Never call this guy again. It was just like a little bit, like a tiny little streak. Like, you know when, like, you have to fart? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, oh, my no. God. No. I know. I know. I'm so disgusted. I, I, I was, it was gross a couple days ago. I tried to block it out of my head. You guys are making me relive it, and I'm just as disgusted now. And it, it oh wasn't a little fart. It was a Jackson oh. Pollock of Oh, oh my God. Stop it. This Stop with sorry. the visuals, people. Just <laughs> burn the much. sheets. <laughs> Take the mattress to the dump. I burned my sheets and she left. She left me sitting in it. Like, she didn't even offer to help. Oh, my God. It's all so disgusting. Mary, how can you leave a no. guy stranded like that? You didn't even apologize oh, for it. What was I going to do? Like, pick up my underwear? Oh, and can I have your sheets while I'm at it? Like, no. Or am I going to stay? Let me do your laundry. I know we just met. No. Honestly, it was like the tiniest little thing. Plus, our conversation was great. The no. dancing was you great. You got it on I my arm. Thought. You got it on my arm. Oh, oh, no. oh, my God. oh my God. I think you're exaggerating a little bit. I mean, it was like just like the tiniest bit. Oh, no. Even oh. a little bit is too much, I think, oh. Mary. Oh. You guys need to listen to me. Like, we connected. Adam, did we not connect? Like, think about when we were dancing. Oh. Think about when we were having drinks. Like, it was the best first day I've ever had, minus that little short thing the next morning. But regardless <laughs> of everything else, five-star day, it was amazing. You can justify however you want, but the fact is you took a crap in my bed. Yeah. I didn't take a crap. I was like a short lick.
<laughs> enough. Okay. Enough of the descriptions. Please just yeah. ask them. Ask them, Jeffrey. Right. I can't well, do this anymore. Okay, Adam, you know, in some cultures, I think going number two is a sign of affection oh. to a person. So <laughs> I didn't know that. I, I'm just assuming maybe that's Mary's culture. <laughs> and in so that cool. sense, she really liked you. So maybe okay. you would consider going out on another oh. date with her. And if you would, we would pay for it. <laughs> What? Yeah. Another date? Are you at a... Imagine us, we're hanging out, we're sharing an appetizer at some Applebee's. What do you think I'm going to be thinking about? <laughs> Her going in my bed. Oh. How how do you think this is salvageable? Yeah. Dude, she, I hear you, Adam. I can, wasn't even there, and I can't get the image out of my head, She man. can empty herself before the date okay. to make sure there's Yay. no accidents. <laughs> Mary. Adam, you are very emotional right now. And when you calm down, call me. We'll work it out. We'll do, like, dancing lesson number two. It will be so good. Yeah, dancing Dude. lesson number two, her specialty. Oh, oh, number two. Stop. That's gross. 